topic of today's video is going to be budget uh, budget ballet songs. We're going to talk about, in particular, these two knives. The Bear Ops, I believe this is a B200 or B201, uh, the carbon fiber variant. And then this is just, it's about a $25 uh, trainer on Amazon. So, you guys know, you guys have probably seen me with these knives. You've seen uh, this Amazon trainer on my story, as well as I just gave it away on my Instagram as well. So this week I'll be sending that out to lucky winner who was in weapons Insta, weapons Insta. And this guy, I've actually posted a few videos with, the Bear Ops B400. Um, and you know how much I actually really enjoy Bear Ops knives. So in today's video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about more budget style Balisong knives that are still reliable enough that they warrant the price that you give them and uh, some of my opinions as well. So let's get into it. Starting with the Bear Ops B200. So the newer versions of the Bear Ops, which I'll put on screen right here, I'll show you in uh, the, where the tang pins are. So the newer version, actually all Bear Ops Balisong knives they have tang pins that are that are threaded. So in comparison, also put up a lighted picture of uh, this in here. You can see on this older version, the one that I have, um, it's actually just a straight rod um, as the tang pin. And that makes it so it's much, uh, much sturdier. So the only problem I have with the newer versions is that it takes a little bit more maintenance than it would with the older versions. So just keep that in mind as we talk about uh, this knife. So the B200 though, it's relatively light, lightweight. We'll put the weight and other specs right here on the white screen as a, as you guys watch. This uh, this version has a Bowie blade. I believe there's also, you can go for the Tonto variant, which I think is, I don't remember what version it is. But in reference to the Bear Ops B200 knives and the Bear Ops B400 knives, I think if you can get them for the right price on the secondary market, they're totally worth it. I'll insert some clips of me flipping it on the side as, as I talk about it as well. But basically, it's on the secondary market, you can get one for less than $80. I paid $80 for this guy, but this is a special variant that I really enjoy personally. So you don't have to go for the older ones, but you can definitely get one secondary market for under 80 you're lucky even under 60 depending on condition model and stuff like that and that goes for uh, the 200 as well as the b400 i recommend both it doesn't really matter which which one you get really but one of the great things about these about these bear ops knives is for whatever reason their balance is super great for scissor tricks I actually learned um if you see me do my decouple scissor so my 10 scissor uh, video that I learned how to scissor and how to do multiple scissors on a Bear Ops knives. So for whatever reason they have really, really good balances. Now some of the comments from haters that I know of Bear Ops knives is one, they're relatively easy to, they can fall apart. And this is actually true. It's, um, it does take a bit of maintenance to keep a Bear Ops knife, Bear Ops Balisong working to a professional level. As you can see right now, I'm finger tightening my pivots even because they just got loose from me just, just doing that. And if you can hear, all you tap haters out there, it has tons of tap. And that's fine in the volley song. Everyone's like, well, tap, tap means play. A little bit of, play, a little bit of play on any volley song is fine as long as uh, you don't really care about the blade that much and how much blade it rubs against. But these kinds of knives, you'd buy them and you'd want them to become feeders because you'd want to be doing your best tricks. You want to be figuring out kind of the, uh, figuring out your own style and stuff like that. So you'd want to be using these knives. You wouldn't want to, um, these, aren't, these aren't grails by any means. So if you do get, Bear Ops knives, you're going to be flipping it. So don't worry about uh, excessive 
play or anything. Just have a, do enough play to where you can flip it, um, but you don't have to obsess about it at all. So going back to what haters would say about Barofs knives. Um, so first that they, that they do fall apart and that's true. But if you do understand um, basic Bali song maintenance and you are prepared and willing to put in just that bit of effort to keep it a bit flippable, then, then I do recommend a Barofs knife. A Barofs knife. Because they're so cheap, you can also, it's a good, uh, it's a good add to really anyone's collection. See myself, although I don't currently know where they are, they're either lost or stolen. I also have a replicant and an AB, uh, both from Blade Runner Systems. But I still find myself coming to this knife when I want to do more fluid freestyles, or it's a very it's a very soft knife in the sense that it does it does what you want it to do, and it doesn't. It doesn't complain about what you're getting to it. It kind of just goes exactly how you want it. Pivots are nice, very smooth. Just keep in mind that if you are going to buy a Baron Spally Song, you're going to have to spend some time keeping it flippable and ready with some maintenance. This, this guy represents uh, basically any uh, Bali Song trainer off of Amazon that is $25 or under. These are definitely going to be your go-to super low, uber budget knives, especially since you can most likely piggyback off of a parent or a relative's Amazon Prime. I just go on Amazon and I would just search up Bali Song, Bali Song Trainer. You'll find some under $25 and that'll get you started. And that will do uh, three things. One, it will keep your, it won't break the bank. That's number one, thanks Ben. Number two, it will let you see if you want get into the hobby even more. And three, if you get a trainer, then it will minimize the risk for injuries that come with the hobby sport of body sound clipping. And so that that last that last point that I made, number three, might ease the minds of some parents that don't want you to get in the, into the hobby. In this last portion, I'm gonna talk about knives that I don't personally own currently, but have either owned in the past or have flipped a decent amount in the past as well. So I'm going to start off with the Squid Industries Co. Squiddy, and this will include the uh, normal Squiddy, so the white variant, as well as the Squiddy G, which I think is the newer weighted version. 
Now, these guys, I believe, uh, both are under $60. Now, they're made of PVCC, which if you know PVC pipe, it's basically the exact same material. They're very budget friendly as well, because they're it's under $100, even under like $65. So if your budget is that low, then, then yeah, it's, it's a good way to go. These knives, I know, are made very quality. Lucas Cow, the owner, is a homie for sure. We'll use that word. I flipped them before. They flip interestingly. I would not suggest getting one as your first knife because their balance can be a little odd and because they are incredibly light. However, if you started out on a CCC type knife and you want to transition or add to your collection, just kind of start building up, building it up, um, I would suggest and encourage that you get a squiddy. I mean, most people's collections nowadays in the uh, mid tier of Blaison Clippers. Now let's talk about um, Squid Industry Co's other trainers and how they compare. I personally really, really like the squid trainers themselves. I've never flipped a Triton, Trident, or any of the other variants. I've only ever flipped uh, squid trainers and, and squiddies themselves. I've already recommended the squiddies in different instances. Now squid trainers, while they aren't super budget friendly, they are definitely under 200. Those are those are great knives to get on a, on a budget. So I'm not gonna go uh, into any detail of knives over that because then you get into kind of your dog bites uh, your benchmade 51s your replicants into the higher level knives that uh, you wouldn't get if you had a true budget so it's so one of the best things about the squid trainer in my opinion is the build um, because it is aluminum it can take a, enough of a beating to where not only is it a good budget knife but it's also a pretty solid uh, beater type knife as well. So you get that uh, kind of two in one action. Yeah, and I already talked about Lucas Cow and his whole uh, philosophy and stuff like that. Uh, I really respect um, him and his company. And I think he does really good stuff. So I imagine that any of the products and trainers that Lucas puts out with Squid Industries uh, would be uh, good to go. And they're definitely all uh, fairly good budget knives as well. So those are my recommendations and then we'll finish this video off with some butterfly knife flipping and we'll see you guys